my week at Salisbury School, I'm embraced as one of the girls by a group of teenagers with real frailties. There's the girl who hates school and hides, the girl who attaches herself to me the moment I arrive. There's the girl who fears returning to her old school. And just when I thought I had everyone sussed, things are turned upside down. I've never in the 10 years that I've been here had a student try to assault me before. I'm about to spend a week at a boarding school for girls with intellectual disabilities. My views on special schools are about to be challenged. I'm a little bit skeptical about how, how this could work. You're taking these young girls completely out of their um, natural environments. I thought we'd got past separating people just because they have a disability. In fact, the Ministry of Education planned to close Salisbury School here in Nelson. But the school board filed High Court proceedings against the Minister. The High Court ruled the government's actions were illegal. But the threat of closure remains. So to really know what it's like to be a student here, I thought I'm going to make the commitment and spend a week at Salisbury myself. So I'm going to be in the dorm with the girls for a week, going to school and really knowing what life's like here. Salisbury is regarded as the end of the line for girls who just weren't coping in their local schools. How lovely to see Hi. you. Hey, hello. hello. Nice you. Thanks very much. Hi. And you must be Savannah? Yes. Right? yes. I'm a bit nervous. What's it like, like your first time when you come, when you come here? Um, it's a bit difficult when I first started, but when I got used to it, I was just like, oh, it's easy peasy. Excellent. Right, you're going to show me the way then? Yeah. Bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Lisa. I'm staying in the dormitory. We're here. Thank goodness, single rooms. It's got your name on the door, I see. Oh, isn't that sweet? Well, it's, it's cute, but to be like 13 or 14 and to be sent here um, miles away from home, knowing that you're a, a long way from home, I think it would be really hard. Sammy is the youngest student. She's immediately popped up by my side. It's the east wing, west wing, annex. But I won't able to show you down the annex because you can't go down the wheelchairs. No. So you're going to show me. But we can room? go. We can go round into mm -hmm. the um, thing. But we. But we'll have to go downstairs. That's my room here. Oh, that's a Me messy room. I, that's a messy room. I know. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I keep my room messy. I'll shut those. Ah, so you like horses. Yep, that's why horses are around me. And there's real steel right there. You can come in. Thank you. You're lucky that you have, don't have to video a bad person. Yeah. The girls get just two years to work on their behaviour and up their academic achievement before going home. Here, teachers have time for one-on-one -on -one tuition. Many of these girls are years behind. Oh, well done, Courtney, that is awesome. My new friend Sammy has been here a year. Sammy has a desk up the front against the wall. I'm not really sure why she's separated like that. Hey Sammy, can you tell me why you're sitting up here on your own in the front of the class? Because I like it up here because not that much noise. Yelling and shouting, no, I can't tank it. Only when I'm mad. Oh, this is clear, look. Look at Courtney's dad. Good girl. Lily, Melbourne, Auckland. Oh, who comes from Auckland, I wonder? Oh, that's right. In Queenstown. Have you been to Queenstown? No, where did come from? Courtney struggles to concentrate, and we mean moment by moment. Oh, no, Lily, go and get shot! OK. Hey, Courtney, remember we need to concentrate on what we're doing. She has a high level of autism and really needs an understanding teacher. 
Okay, so I think we really need to rewrite this. Right. So, mm -hmm. here we go. Look at the doggy. Courtney. Look at the doggy. You show Ginny, Ginny how well yeah. you can work. Ginny. She's what, sitting there going to watch you. She's do watching some work. you. She's going to watch you. Sit down, now Ginny. You show Ginny. Ginny and the other dogs are part of the school's grand plan. Animals are a calming influence. <laughs> She's saying, when's Courtney going to do some, <laughs> some work in her book? I'm off to meet the older girls. They take more responsibility for their own learning. Back then I thought that I was invisible. Well, I could do anything I wanted. It's a little unusual for teenage girls to be given stickers for good behaviour. You're getting stickers by the hour here. That's pretty cool. And what do you get stickers for? But simple um, rewards work. Stickers accumulate towards bigger rewards like a green beer or a pet. Yeah. What kind of things did you do to earn a guinea pig? Stay in class and stay in school. Rihanna's head girl. Now, She's 16 and almost at the end of her two years at Salisbury. <laughs> she hardly attended class at her old school. When she arrived here, she was defiant and a little aggressive. To show everyone when a behaviour's okay and when to stop, staff use the colours of traffic lights. Can you explain to me what it means? It's basically like green, like you're on track, orange, you've marked up, and red's like you need to stop. And what about you? Have you spent much time in orange? In red. In red? <laughs> you spent a bit of time in red, have you? Yeah. How hard is it to kind of keep thinking, right, I can't do that, I can't do, you know? It's like, pretty hard. Is it? Yeah. Not for me it is anyway. So what kind of things have you done to end up in the red zone? I'm running away. Really? Yeah. I just like to do my own thing without people telling me what to do and me to be. I like clever people. Do you? Yeah. You my uncle had to be in a wheelchair and he died. Who did? My uncle. Oh, that's no good. I like wheelchairs. Do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like swimming that much. Don't you? But um, when I have a wheelchair, I'm still going to get off my chair and swim. OK. This is wheelchair sport. Mm -hmm. and, but you can't do it because you're a lady. But I go swimming. Yeah. Do you still? Yes. Does your leg still move, but it's really sore? No, I just use my arms. So you go like that? Yeah, pretty much. But then my le your legs? Mm-hmm. I'll be horrible, because my uncle had to do that. Mm-hmm. The school feels empty. There's just 22 girls here, a quarter of last year's role. And the Ministry of Education hasn't referred any new students so far this year. Why is the ministry like reducing the role like that? It's um, a known fact that uh, residential special schools are the most expensive schools to run. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there are um, fiscal responsibilities, I guess, that the ministry have to meet. Um, unfortunately, it looks as if residential schools might be one area that they feel they can they can cut the um, education budget um, by perhaps closing or by uh, narrowing down the, the intake of students. I mean, I look at the needs of the students here that we have here at the moment, and our belief is as strong as it ever has been as to why schools such as Salisbury are really needed. So tonight, some of the older girls have invited me to dinner. Um, these are the girls that will be leaving Salisbury soon, so they're in a flatting situation and they're learning how to be a little bit more independent. Hi. Hi. How are you going? Good. Good. And what have you cooked tonight? I cooked crumb chicken mm -hmm. that's already been crumbed. Savannah's cooked my dinner. It's one of the last meals she'll have here. I imagine it's a big challenge for the girls to go back to the world beyond Salisbury. I feel sorry for those girls who are like me because I have autism spectrum disorder 
and um, I feel sorry for them because they're not getting the help that they need and I'm really lucky to be here at Salisbury. So tell me what happened then at your, at your other school before you came here. Um, at my old school I got teased really badly. Girls were calling me fat and ugly. I don't care about myself much. It's just who I am. I'm just a caring person. Yeah, so I'm leaving at the end of this term. I'm just afraid that I'll be that shy, sensitive girl again. And maybe, I don't know what's going to happen to me. I'm just afraid that I'll get bullied again. Knock them one. <coughs> What did you say? <laughs> Knock the one. <laughs> no! Before I came here, I got punched in the face. And I said to my dad, because he wanted me to punch you back, so I said, violence is not the answer to everything, Dad. Words is the answer to everything. You just need to stand up for yourself. And I did, because she called me a retard. And the only excuse for her to punch me was that I called her a retard back, because I was standing up for myself. It's been, it's been a really hard time for me at our mainstream schools, but. Here it's just different. Lights off. Do you mind to put the lights off for me? I'll do it. 8.30, it's lights out. When can I do it? I can't see in the hallway. Can I read some? Oh, I don't want to be on dodgy D and look at them. I'm not looking at them. Chapter one. This to help her settle, Courtney needs consistency. Bedtime stories are her favourite part of this routine. I haven't been sent to bed at 8.30 in a long time. Staff check the girls every half hour, right through the night. girls fix their own breakfast. Although Rihanna prefers someone else get hers. Is someone an equal thing? No. So... No? I'm not your slave. Does it look like I have slave written on my forehead? <laughs> if you get me a pen, I can write it. Okay. I'll bring you a coffee. Thank you. Two sugars. There's a girl outside alone. It's Billy. She's always hated school. So what are you doing in class today? I don't know. Shouldn't you be in class now? I don't know. Why aren't you in class? Because I don't like class. So you just walk out? Yeah. Are you allowed to do that? Just like wander away? You don't really be sitting standing out here on your own, do you? You wanna come back with me? Shall we go? Can you come with me? Come on. When I saw uh girls walking around. I thought they need a bit more discipline. But now I've come to, I've come to realise that um, 
that the staff here know that if they constantly in battle with the girls, like, come in here, do this, do what I say, a lot of them are just going to react negatively. This is what they've always been told. You're doing it wrong. So what happens here at Salisbury that's a bit different to other schools? You get more time with teachers. Mm -hmm. It's like, you need help. Why wasn't your, your school that you are at, why wasn't it working for you? Too many people. Mm -hmm. I focus like better when there's little amount of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why do you think it's important to have a school? Like, so you can get an education. Like a school like this? Um, so you can like get the education that you need. Mm -hmm. So get the time and effort for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what would happen to people like yourself if there wasn't somewhere like Salisbury to come to? I don't think they would like get an education and get a job when they're mm -hmm. older. Mm -hmm. So what kind of life would they have? Um, they probably have to end up stealing to get food or like, go on the wrong path. I want to be a journalist when I grow up, so I'm just wondering if I was a journalist, what would I do? It was rather that or me becoming a detective, so I chose a journalist instead. I don't just take pages out of a book and write it down. I have my own imagination. Well, I've just heard that Sammy has gone to red on the traffic light system and um, I've heard she's done something pretty serious. Sammy's on a red card. We've unpacked some of it. She's done some letters of apologies. There's often a red card incident, but here the teachers grab the moment and work to turn the negative behaviour around. I want to see her developing and making friendships. Everything's dealt with calmly and in a rational way, but they coach the girls to understand their actions and the impact on others. We want to see her caring. Others. The staff are trained in restorative practice techniques. So today, Sammy, when you kicked out at somebody, what do you think that they felt like? Sad. Yeah. Do you think they might have felt a bit unsafe at all? No. You don't think they felt unsafe? OK. Can anybody tell us how anybody else felt? Were you happy about that happening in your... OK? Like, I felt kind of, like, upset and, like, I don't know what to... Do like whether to do. carry on or walk out. Okay. Did it put you off your work? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? If I felt really quite sad because we're here to help you and we really care about all of you girls. And I've never in the ten years that I've been here had um, a student try to assault me before. That yeah, doesn't happen here very often, but when it does, it's not very good. Did you feel shaky at all? I did actually. I did, yep. What, what do you think? That, what you can do now to make things right? I don't know. So what, what's some of the signs that you're starting to get agitated? What does your body feel like? Just a little bit scared. Your body starts to feel scared when, when you're getting upset? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. What else does ha what else happens with your body? I get a bit um, cano. It's like a volcano in your stomach, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. It starts. So what do you need to do when that feeling starts to, you start to get all tight and your volcano starts to happen? What Walk do you away. need? Walk away. Okay. She's very quick to get angry, but we are seeing a reduction in her behaviour. We're seeing her control her behaviour more often, but it is going to take time. Like it takes often about 90 times to change a habit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some reminding somebody to change a habit, um, and so putting a lot of the support in, talking it through. At some stage, some of it will seep through. Kids like Sammy, who don't get the right help, can be seriously derailed. She's a great kid, but needs somewhere like Salisbury that gets her. You told me today that you're always happy in the morning. You told me you're always happy. Always in the, at the cottage, not at school. Not at school. So do you often get upset at school, do you? Yeah. But afterwards, you feel you feel bad for it, yeah. doing something like that. And so when I was frustrated, how did I do? I feel and now I feel poorly. Do you find it easy to make friends? No. Why not? Why? Because it's hard.
we're at cooking class, baking some muffins, but uh, Billy, who I was looking forward to seeing this morning, just kind of took off. I'm not really sure what she's upset about today. She looks pretty upset. Morning. How are you? Hi, how are you? She's actually a really quite smart girl. Her father's recently passed away. I think she's just like really, really quiet and maybe like a little bit misunderstood. A couple of minutes later, Billy's off again. Do you want to come back into the class? You don't like cooking. Why not? You never did. I'd like to hang out with you for a bit though. Would you like that? Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit? I think I saw half a smile there. <laughs> Come on, should we go and make some muffins? Or at least watch other people making muffins? Well, she said to me that she's always been far behind in school and found school really hard. I don't think that she's had many people in her life take the time to get to know her. She has zero confidence. When you fail in education, right the way through your schooling, um, that is going to have a huge impact on the way you feel, feel generally about yourself. Um, many of our girls have never developed friendships in the mainstream. Uh, they've never been invited to birthday parties or to stayovers. Uh, they have low self-esteem as a result of that. So Courtney, do you like it here at Salisbury, Courtney? Yeah. Oh, I saw somebody, I saw Lisa. How dare you? Okay, Courtney. Don't you want to be my friend? Okay. Now I'm the new girl and now I've got no friends. No. Courtney, if I come over there, will you move again? No. No, you won't, will you? I'm just gonna go. Can I sit here next to you? No! Oh, why not? <laughs> Run! <laughs> How's that? I'm not sure that Courtney would would say that she has close friends or that other people would say they were close friends of hers. She seems to be pretty much in her own world. I'm not sure that she's entirely bothered by that. Oh, I just can't imagine Courtney in a, in a mainstream, busy college setting. Here, she's got amazing teachers who are really taking the time and nurturing and seeing that she has this talent and that she's really smart. Billy doesn't trust many people. Oh my goodness. A bit of attention has a big impact. That's amazing. That's incredible, Billy. Look how big it is. Yeah. How many staples did you use? Eight. Hey. <laughs> I bet. And why did you make it? Mm, I was bored. You did this because you were bored? Mm-hmm. And what do you think your dad would have thought if he saw that? Proud of me. You miss him, right? Yeah. I miss him a lot. Were you and him really close friends? Mm-hmm. The 8th of August, I'd go back for good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what will you do when you get home? Probably go back to my old school. I never learn there. You never learn there? No. But you're learning stuff here at Salisbury. I was four years behind my work. This is amazing, Billy. I've never seen anything quite like it. Billy's attended more classes than ever this week. In the last few days, she's noticeably more confident. She wanted to get up in front of everyone at the school assembly.
So Billy would like to acknowledge that she liked you so much that she wrote a special letter for you. With Billy, who I've been told doesn't really relate very well to most people, yes, she gave me a note and I was so touched. It, it says, you are very nice and you are kind. I like it how you helped me when I did not go to class and you helped me when I did cooking and I liked that you are cool and you are nice to me. I just can't believe that someone's just like thanked me for talking to them, talking nicely to them. Very few people get to look inside a place like Salisbury. I've lived with these girls for a week and I really understand what the school is trying to achieve. Are you worried about going home? Yeah, that's why I'm worried right now. Yeah? A little bit. I'm going to miss you sleeping in the college. <laughs> Before I came here I thought I'm a big believer in all people with disabilities being able to go to their and being supported in their local school and that we should have the resources for for girls to go to their local school and be in their local communities and not be away from home. But after being here, I'm convinced that a place like this is needed. Salisbury provides intense nurturing, giving these girls the skills to take their rightful place in the world.